if you've got an online shop, it's absolutely essential that you have a header with a shop button. That's going to show people the number of items that are in the cart, but it's also going to roll out the cart draw so that they can see all of the items explicitly what's in their cart. Okay. So the key thing about this is that in the filters, obviously you can filter to show only headers that have the shop button, as you can see here, but also, um, you know, at the moment, just be aware that I've highlighted everything so I could remove things from the filters. I'm just going to show me more uh, with the shop button. Okay. So there we've got the shop button. Here we've got the shop button. And here we've got what we call the cart drawer. Very simple stuff. I can go and customize this and I can change the label. Now, if my cart has got nothing in it, um, I can choose to show the word cart. Okay. Now I can also change the icon that appears there. I'm using the, the user icon because I like to show people that this is my cart because they can see the dollar value there. But also they can know that the people have got a user account. So I find that that works really nicely because people, the user now knows they can click that, go to their profile and see everything in their profile. So past orders, they might want to change their the billing, um, the, the billing information, update the card, uh, the shipping information, how they want to receive notifications. So I recommend that you have a my account, but more traditionally, even if you have got my account, people like to have a shopping cart icon as well. So you can choose a shopping cart icon or a user icon in there. And when you're happy with that, just press save. I'm actually going to put mine back to user icon. It makes more sense for the size that I'm actually building, which I like. So there you can see my information. Now, I've already added things to my cart before, so it's got zero dollars. I'm going to show you how to change the preferences of that that later but out the box it's going to say zero dollars and it's going to fall back to cart the word cart if it needs it okay don't have to worry about that right now it just works okay so that's an introduction to the um, shop button but of course we're going to cover a lot more than that if you actually have got a shop in day four